What's happening peeps? Welcome back to my real life car builds in GTA 5. So in this video we're going to be again covering a car that we did a little while back and obviously the car in this video is going to be the new Ford GT. Considering that we've already done a standard 2016 Ford GT build I thought we'd do something a little bit special and do the Le Mans version of this car. Obviously Ford have a long history in racing and the GT40 which was a famous race winning car of the 1960s won a whole bunch of Le Mans races back to back. So for the 50th anniversary of those wins, Ford is putting together a new Le Mans racer using the second generation Ford GT. The second generation Ford GT is a pretty cool looking car, but it looks absolutely insane when it's done in race spec. Now Ford hasn't said too much about the specifics of this car in terms of how fast it is, but what we do know is that it has a 3.5 litre V6 EcoBoost engine, and this is supposed to put out about 500 horsepower. Being a race car, it's no surprise that it will be significantly lighter than the road going version, which should make it a lot more nimble and a lot faster. Top speed is rumored to be something around the 200 miles per hour mark, and it's 0 to 60 miles per hour is supposed to be under 3 seconds. Now clearly the closest car that we have to a second generation Ford GT in Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be the new Vapid FMJ. So once you've got your hands on one of these, we're going to roll it into Los Santos Customs. If you look up the 2016 Ford GT Le Mans car, the official paint scheme doesn't really blow me away. What I did find was some interesting pictures from when they tested it a few years back with a black paint scheme and I think this looks absolutely incredible. So that's going to be the inspiration for this build. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go under bumpers and we're going to choose the carbon front splitter for the front. For the roof, there's a carbon GT scoop which is an excellent match for the real life car. Another excellent match is under the spoiler with the enhanced GT wing. Under the wheels, I've gone for the S Racer, which are listed under Sport, and for the wheel color, we're going to go with black. And under the tire design, I've gone for some custom tires. For the window tint, we're going to leave this as none. Now, for the primary color, I've chosen black, which is listed under matte. And for the secondary color, which is going to give us those nice little colored highlights on the rear wing, I've gone for red, which is listed under matte also. As usual, we're going to drop the suspension as low as it will go, and we're going to max out all the other performance upgrades. And there you have it, a pretty damn accurate 2016 Ford GT Le Mans race car. I must admit the first time that I laid eyes on the FMJ I didn't think it was all that amazing, but after driving the thing, I'm totally sold. This is an amazing car, it is super super quick and it handles like an absolute dream. As usual, I've stuck all my customization options in the description field so you can go ahead and build your own Ford GT race car. But other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this build, I want to thank you for watching, and I'm out. But what we do know is that it has a 3.5 litre V6 EcoBoost m m m m m m